E E I E E I E E I Hi everybody, it's Lynn again. How are y'all? No, senor doc. I Speedy Gonzalez. He's fatted. Fat. So that's Speedy Gonzalez, not Speedy Gonzalez. And it's those kind of sounds that are often mispronounced that distinguish the speaker. And so if we can learn how to make the appropriate sounds, the sounds that might be a little bit different, we can really improve our pronunciation. Eh, eh is not a problem. Eh, the sound is almost equal in different languages. It comes, it bounces off of our tongue. Eh, eh, but towards the middle or towards the back. Eh is in between. Eh, eh. E comes from the front and is a tensed sound. So if you're having difficulty with it, you're gonna want to smile, e. And as we pronounce that sound, notice that it's elongated, but goes up and comes back down again. Just like if you were riding the roller coaster. <laughs> so it goes up and comes back down, e. Whereas i, very short, very straight. This is singular. So for example, this statue, this statue, it's one, but these, and again, keep that sound rolling. These, these trees are green. These trees are green. This leaf is brown. This leaf is brown. This leaf is brown. E, 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 right? This leaf is. And are you making sure you're getting the z sound on is? That's important too. This leaf is brown. These leaves are green. These leaves are green. Are you stretching those e's? E, 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 e. These leaves are green. Now we do say it faster, but even when we speak faster, that E gets elongated, means it gets stretched, and it goes up and back down. Now, as we speak more naturally, it gets reduced, but it's still there. And that makes an important difference, okay? That E is not E, it's E, E. Now let's do a couple of longer sentences. The first one is all going to be E. Mr. Smith, lives in this big city. Mr. Smith lives in this big city. And now the E sound, the stretched E sound, the long E sound. Steve Green leaves at three. Steve Green leaves at three. All E's, right? Steve Green leaves at three. Now, let's go back and just do a couple of comparisons with some words that are very, very similar, but have the different sounds. And this time we're also gonna include the E, oh. eh, where you sleep at night, bed, bed. But now with the I, eh, bid. And then with the E sound, bead, bed, bid, bead. Sometimes there are lots of mosquitoes out here in my yard and when they bite me, they itch. Got etch, itch, and then like each one, each. Etch, itch, each. Etch, itch, each. Now, since we were talking about itch and each, that brings up a couple of words that sometimes cause people problems because they want to avoid saying bad words. So remember when you're saying the not bad words, you're gonna stretch the sound. So in the summer in Houston, we like to go to the beach. 
beach, right? Beach. Which, make the, notice the difference between that and the bad word, bitch, right? It's very short, bitch. Beach, bitch, beach. And also the same, we've got on your bed, you have sheets. Or a piece of paper, a sheet of paper. But then the bad word, shit. Oh shit. People, 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 people. England, England. Women, women. Meet, meet. Busy, busy. Build, build. Key, key. Deceive, deceive. Then, then. Lady, lady. So I hope this helped you out a little bit in especially distinguishing between the sounds I and E in English. Those two sounds are really, really important if you're trying to reduce your accent in English and make yourself sound more authentic, more natural. Just like Speedy Gonzales, they do distinguish what we hear as an accent. So I hope that you like this video and if you do like it, I hope that you can give it a like down below. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, do that as well. And if you'd like to be notified, be sure when you subscribe to click on the bell down below. I do thank you all for watching. One last thought. If you have questions or comments about pronunciation or something that you'd like to see in the future, please write that down in the comments below. Alrighty, thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.